I am in Nipponbashi. It's Osaka's version of Akihabara. Spy family is really starting to get into a groove and um, getting figurines as well. That's really cool to see. There's always been plushes, lots and lots of plushes. Look at all these Anyas. That's a really cute Anya. $20, 2,000 yen. All these um, rubber key rings and like a little Tsum Tsum looking character. Oh my God. Anya with that face. It's very funny. And let's look at all these badges. Ooh. Again, that face. I knew what that face is very funny. <laughs> oh, that's not the face. She's sick there. Oops. Sorry that I laughed at that. These are little cards or something. Magnets? No, badges. Little badges. Mystery packs. I don't know what they are. They're like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. There's some key rings. There's more Tsum Tsums, only of the nasty boy. A nasty boy. He's actually quite expensive. <laughs> but all of the Anya goods are always very, very expensive. Here we go. Some Anya figurine. Wow. $60 for that. And the boy. I don't like you. He's got his little guys behind him. That's really funny. His little uh, crab and goyle, like Draco Malfoy. <laughs> Yeah. More spy family like Zoom Zooms. They're all at a thousand yen. Is the Anya one a thousand yen? Whoa, two thousand. Nearly two thousand. Wow. I'd rather have that. It's cheaper. It's cuter. Cuter face. But maybe it's too big. Maybe that's why people don't want it. What's this? This might be like a full key ring set. You can buy the full set for four thousand yen. Wow. I wonder how many key rings that is. Maybe six different key rings? All six of them? Cool. And then over here they've got the big polar bear character. Mm, I found a gachapon that features clothes of Kimetsu no Yaiba female characters. Very, very cute. There's lots of them available. How much is it? Oh, $5, 500 yen. Wow, but very, very cool. I wonder what's different between these two. Is that just like a close-up? Does it come with anything extra? No, it's just these three designs. I would like to have um, Kochiro Shinobu's one the most, I think. Cool, that's a cute gachapon. Wow, I've never seen these before. Hunter Hunter goods. And I'm like, plush figurines. And they're all like a thousand yen, which is like $10 each. Hisoka is a little more expensive. And Lierio is the cheapest. He's always so cheap. Wow, really cool. Is this Hunter Hunter too? No, this is Shaman King. That's Hunter Hunter. Here we go, Leorio. A very funny Muppet looking Leorio. Ooh, and like a ring, or is that, um, what is that? Is that from Greed Island? I can't remember. Oh my goodness. The, um, Kilua's father. Cool. Good to see some Hunter Hunter goods. There's lots of, um, Nendoroids here. That's Hataraku Saibo. But they're all like, um, I think they're like Fate Grand Order. Maybe Fate Day Night. Yeah, there we go. There's Saber. These ones too. These might be... Fate as well. They're all fate androids. I think at the back I saw like that. <laughs> it's Ogumon from Digimon. Money. Wow, well, there's lots of um, Kimetsu no Yaiba goods as well. We've even got like swords of the characters. That might be um, Ringoku sword. And then I really like these figurines. They look like the most like um, what they look like in the anime. I think the Tanjiro is only, yeah, like yeah, 500 yen. Yeah. 500. 500, 800, I guess they're very like, big and chonky. That's the only reason why they're so expensive. Cool. Very, very cool. Kimitsu no is getting gradually cheaper. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've got no idea what this is. Is it like a Genshin character image? Strategy guide? I don't know, but these are like the fan art mangas. I've got both of these at home. They're very, very good. I've like tried reading some of the chapters as well. It's like 3,500, 3,000 yen as well. Hmm, I'll have to check online what that is. Very, very cute sleeping beauty sleeping over there. Although Gaston's wide awake. Um, oh my goodness, is that the grudge? The, the ring, the grudge, the grudge, right? Super scary, you can never see her face. Is she doing a heart symbol? <laughs> that one's funny. Popular instant ramen key rings. 
They even come with like, the little bag and the flavor. I like Ichiran. I've been to Ichiran before a couple times. I haven't been there in a long time. I've tasted better ramen now, but all the foreigners like that one. That, that one's very popular. And a um, Bushy Road rubber strap key ring of my boy Ben, huh? Only 300 yen. You got yourself a deal, man. That's the price of doing a gashapon too. I'm gonna get it. Some very cool but expensive um, Naruto figurines. Naruto transformed. Naruto riding the fox. They're all like over, over $10 on this one, nearly $20. With this like sage or Hokage coat on with a, with a toad. I wonder if that's from Naruto or Shippuden or... Who's that? Why has he got black hair? I don't know if it's from Boruto or... What is that? I found some second-hand acrylic stands of the Cafe Ayato that I bought a million Ayato drinks at the Genshin Cafe of. Um, and the Kazuha one as well, but the price is insane. That's 27 US dollars. 22, I don't know why this one's cheaper. I think maybe it's just got like a bit of damage or something. You can see there's like a scratch on the plastic, but I think, I think it's fine. I think there's nothing wrong with it. I do really like Ayato. I do think I want to get it, but that's a, that a steep price. I don't know, what do you guys think? This might be my craziest purchase ever. I'm gonna buy a Noel key ring, a Bennett key ring, an Amber key ring, some of my favorite characters. These ones are from um, the Genshin Cafe as well, the Monster version. But these, $27, $22 from um, the Inazuma Cafe recently. The blind packs were 750 yen, so buying the character that I want up front for that price. Kazuha's one of my strongest support characters. I loved him since he came out, he's C2 now. Ayato, if he ever gets a rerun, I'm definitely pulling him. I've started building his artifacts. It's for some of my most beloved characters, I'm gonna get these. These acrylic stands. Awesome. Amazing. What's in my bag? What did I buy today when I went to Nippon Mashi? First, at a different shop, I bought this. I bought a Bennett rubber strap key ring. He's got his little, um, can you see his little pyrovision? No, not on this one. But it's only 300 yen. I thought I might put this on one of my bags or something. I really like Bennett. I think I resemble Bennett. I've got his energy. I've, I, I don't have his bad luck. I've got very good luck. What did I buy? I bought, whoa, I think this was a freebie. I don't know what this is. This is like a K-Books flyer. It kind of looks like a cool postcard. I don't know what that anime is. Someone did an illustration. That was a freebie, probably. Um, I got a postcard of Ayaka. This is from the Genshin Cafe. If you spent over a certain amount, you got these for free from the Genshin Cafe, but 220 yen to just buy one of these straight up. So I'll send them off to Kiwi members. I've already sent off so many of them. Um, I was able to find a rubber strap of Amber. Amber and Bennett are two of my favorite pyro monster characters. Um, I, yeah, Amber's my favorite. Bennett's one of my favorites. Here's Bennett again. There, there's where he's got the little pyro um, vision. I actually have a pyro vision on my backpack, which is the reason why I wanted to have that. And um, Noel as well. This is from the Monstart Cafe that's not on anymore. And these are the key ring ones. I think these were available at the rerun, not the original Monstart Cafe. The second cafe sold these um, blind packs of key rings, but 400 yen to just straight up buy the character that I want, Noel and Bennett. I love them. Um, what else did I buy? I bought a postcard for Not Disappointed, who is my Star Kiwi highest tier member. It is this Yan Fei postcard. I think um, Animate was giving these out for free if you spent over a certain amount on maybe Genshin goods. But it's Yan Fei. Straight up, just get the one that I want. Yan Fei is one of his favorite characters. Hu Tao would probably be a little bit more expensive. And oh god, here we go. The final thing. I blew out. I, abs I did an absolute ball out. Is that what? Th this was so expensive. 22 US dollars. I got a acrylic stand of a Yato and 27 US dollars. 2,700 yen. This is the most I've ever spent probably in um, Nipponbashi. An acrylic stand of Kazuha and a Yato. The official goods from the Inazuma Cafe that I just went to. Maybe I should have bought, like, for the same price, I could have bought maybe five, five times, seven times five, 3,500. I could have bought more. I could have bought six, maybe, six blind bags, or straight up get the two that I want. So even if, if, if I bought six blind packs and I got Toma two times or something, that would have really sucked, so. It was expensive, but it was worth it. I got my favorite characters. Let's hope Ayato and Kazuha get rerun soon. I don't have Ayato, but I've got a C2 Kazuha. He's one of my top boys. Yeah. 
That's it. That's it. For, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching my Nepombashi excursion. Not disappointed. I'll be sending that out to you. And yeah, random freebie. Maybe I'll send that to a Kiwi member. So if anyone wants that picture, I don't know what that is. Is it a yato? I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Check out all my other videos, my Nepombashi videos, my Gachapon videos. And um, shout out to all the Kiwi members. I love these guys. They make me feel comfortable going out and feel like I'm in a store. I'm crouched down looking at the Genshin goods being like, oh, yeah, look at this. This looks really good. I'm going to buy this. So thank you, guys. Thanks for, thanks for giving me the confidence to go out and make these videos. See you for the next one.